Like, if I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Your faith could never, but I do this, so you know. Hey y'all, it's All of Destiny. This video will be another full get ready with me. We got the hair, a little bit of makeup, the outfit, our fragrance of the night. And yeah, let's go ahead and get it to it. So in the last one, we did this top knot together. And I figured I would show you all how to take it down. I wore it for about a week and a half. <laughs> um, basically, you just kind of unravel it. You're not supposed to do this, but this is how I do it. Moving on up to the east side. I gotta do a wig review today. Or whenever I get ready, I can do it. So I can get a piece of the pie. This video is sponsored by Wild African. I'm actually not gonna wash my hair. I would do better low ponytailing it. So since I don't feel like doing braids, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray on a little bit of leave-in conditioner from Cream of Nature. Use my hairbrush from the beauty supply store, brush that back, grab that same scrunchie that was already on my hair, put it back on my hair, and just secure it quickly in the back. So this video is sponsored by Wild African. Inside, I do have the wig cap. We got the frizz away timer, as well as the wig. All of the details about it will be in my description box down below. Ooh. She pretty. She real pretty. Wow. Oh, yes. I like. All right, so our knots are already bleached. Love that. We have our adjustable strap. I'm going to move it in. If you know how to wear your bra, then you know how to use this. I always put it on that middle one. We got our big comb in the back as well as our adjustable straps. I'm going to move these to the inside as well. I'm hoping that this will be a quick process of me kind of throwing it on, cutting the lace off and being done. Especially because a lot of the work is already done for us. So you just pull this and then I kind of put it just more towards the middle. The closer to the middle, the tighter. Then I hold it by the band and go like that <laughs> and put that on. And I sit mine on top of my ponytail to help press it down further um, whenever I don't braid my hair down. Then I pull the comb and that's gonna go, I'm gonna slide and press it under. I forgot to cut that lace off, so hopefully I don't need the stocking cap method because I definitely don't wanna do the stocking cap method. I'm thinking I may have to wet this hair. So it would have taken me a good amount of time to kind of wet the hair with my spray bottle. Let me just wet it in the tub. But then I was like, I may as well go ahead and co-wash it. May as well. So I took my Pantene Go Series co-wash and I'm just gonna apply that all over the hair. Do keep in mind this video is nicely edited for your viewing pleasure. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this wig grip. I think I got this a couple of years ago. If not, you can definitely purchase it at the local beauty supply store. Go ahead and remove that lace from the back. And I'm just going to put it back on the same way that I explained to you all before. The wig grip just really helps to keep your wig from sliding back if you ever want to wear it glueless. Um, and I'm just going to style it the way that I would my own natural curly hair, just using some wet line gel. If this is how long it's going to take to do my wash and go, <laughs> when my own natural hair gets this long, mm, I don't know if I want it to ever get this long. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The curls are really just already like popping. But I like to do curly hair wet. It just gives you a better oomph as it dries versus trying to put all of your products onto dry hair, dry curly hair. So I'm going to take out a few pieces for baby hair. I'm going to pull out a few near the temples, pull out the little sideburn pieces. Instead of using like a gel or anything like that, I'm just going to use good old pump it up baby. Spray it on there. Put the little wrap strip on from the beauty supply store. If you don't have that, definitely just use a hair scarf. And to get a head started making the baby hair, I'm just going to trim those pieces shorter using a razor. Nobody but you. But you. I don't usually set a timer, but once I finish cleaning up my workstation and moving the camera from one room to the next, I can usually take off the scarf. <laughs> I'm going to use these eyelash scissors just to kind of remove that excess lace. Use whatever you would prefer, something that's small that can get very close to that hairline. And I'm going to go ahead and use this curl mousse. To lay and slay my edges, baby, because your hairstyle ain't complete. It's not complete if your edges ain't on fleek. Y'all know the drill by now. So, since this is a curly wig, the edges still are going to kind of want to curl up, wave up a bit. But that's fine. It just it just makes the look more complete, you know? I'm going to put a little bit of concealer in that part to make it pop even more. And voila. Well, unless you're like me and you're extra, we're going to keep going. I'm not feeling what I have right now. I know it could be a little bit better. So I'm just taking the luster silk that I use on my hair and then this brush section by section. If I seem a little um, off from usual to you all, 
it's because and I don't know as far as me filming this in this present moment what I've uploaded so far but I lost my SD card that has a majority of all of my footage on it the day that we celebrated reaching 300,000 subscribers some of my birthday footage is on that one I have more than one SD card so I do still have certain things that I can upload but I like dropped my SD card I was like changing them out or something uh, to send the pictures that we had took to Brian not me blaming Brian but I'm just saying like that's what I was doing in that moment um, I needed to get some pictures out so I was swapping the card out in the car to pull the pictures from the camera to my phone I ended up like dropping it down in the crack of the car and y'all know if you drop something in the crack of the car it's gone forever <laughs> lip gloss a brow pencil some change y'all just need a whole story time on me turning 30 and I lost my phone I had to get a new phone I feel like my phone was stolen I like this brush like the fact that it doesn't go like this how most brushes are but you hold it this way instead I can't wait to try this on my natural hair because these curls love it love it did y'all used to watch dragon tales when she used to say that <laughs> I used to love getting out of school coming home watching dragon tales or just like channel 10 WKNO classic if you know you know this is giving what it needs to give okay I think I'm satisfied now why have I been throwing my lashes in the um just kind of like throwing them in the drawer as of lately i basically pulled up my last chit chat get ready with me i'll put it right here on the screen y'all really enjoyed that video i don't know if it was the top knot or if it was just me just chatting and opening up more and all of that kind of stuff y'all want to know something right now i think people think i really share my life which i do but I think me living my life is just I personally know which parts don't make it to my vlogs. When you first start out, you're like, okay, I got 10 subscribers. Everybody's nice to me. 100 subscribers. People still nice to me. And at some point, you just get a little more reserved with, let me just keep some stuff to myself. Not to say that you want a channel where everybody literally agrees with you. And I'm going to do kind of like I did last time. If you all saw the top knot video, it wasn't about the makeup, but I just wanted to chat have girl time call y'all on the phone if you will <laughs> since y'all said y'all was on my side i was like okay let me call them again when i get ready so i could tell them like you know what's going on why are all of these blush brushes i don't know at some point you just slowly begin to just hold certain parts to yourself not intentionally wanting to do it and i know people say oh ignore the comments blah 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 ignoring the comments for me will literally mean that i never get on youtube to check them at all and I get it, we don't all have to agree. Like even in that video, some people were like, girl, you need to hurry up, you're gonna be late, blah, blah, blah. Some people thought I was actually talking to my subscribers. I saw a few comments where some people were like, how, does, how is she saying she doesn't want people to have access to her when she's a whole YouTuber and we have access to her? And I think the video went over some people's heads because the video wasn't about my subscribers, it was about my dating life. Um me going out my life outside of youtube i think sometimes people kind of forget that that does exist that every statement that you make isn't related to your youtube channel um so i just wanted not to clarify i know y'all don't like when i give disclaimers but let me just say that like certain things that i'm going to talk about will not be related to youtube all the time that's so boring to me but a lot of y'all were saying how y'all definitely agree like everybody doesn't deserve access to you just because they may want to um, and a lot of y'all were saying y'all don't even bother with it, that y'all just go out by yourself in the first place anyway. I was like, period. <laughs> I don't know, I just definitely agree with a lot of what you are saying. I was not expecting it, the love and support that that video got. And so I typed to a few of y'all and I was like, if he can't wait, ain't no date. If he can't wait, I'ma cancel the date. <laughs> like, if I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I'm not ready like you waiting or not if you need to go by yourself go ahead and do that like leave if you need to leave baby like <laughs> let me stop before I have to hang y'all up again y'all gonna be in the comments like uh-uh but let's talk about this though consider wherever you want to consider that you're going do you prefer to be perfectly on time like I'm actually getting ready to go bowling tonight um our jurisdiction at church the Millennials I don't know why they call us Millennials not like my jurisdiction, but just like, I think society calls our generation millennials. Sometimes I don't feel either way about it, but then other times I feel like, why we call that? Lately, I've been feeling the mascara only look, and girl, I'm messing it up. I hate when my mascara is too new, like new new, and it does stupid things. 
like that. I'm gonna do this again. Never mind, it wasn't about the makeup last time. We was just talking. If y'all was on the phone, you wouldn't even see me doing this. No way. <laughs> just kidding, it's Nyx. If people not there yet, it's like, okay, at least I ain't first. Or, I don't know. I can't justify my reasoning. I know to some people it's a big deal. Obviously when you have reservations to certain stuff, it's like, yeah, you can't be late. If it's just like some casual event, to me I just be like, eh, I don't wanna be first. I don't. Last should be first. The first should be last. Hopefully I could put on this lash. Last time I didn't do makeup, I think I did brows, mascara, gloss. But, oh, why is that hurting like that? Girl, is that mascara right in there? That's really good. So you just gonna fall over while I'm recording. You just want a break, huh? A hot mess of a video this is. Yeah, this is not working out. The glue that I put on this other lash doesn't even go on the left eye. And they're all mixed up. I don't know what's what. Like, yay, yay, yay. Oh my god, this one is empty too. What am I gonna do? This one is empty too. What am I gonna gonna what am i gonna do Ooh, just go without the lashes it's on down the road i said the chocolate vote related to anywhere at first but i take that back if you're going out out date night out now you revote and that's the thing i don't even intentionally try to be late perfection just takes time that's all every time i do my lashes i say "Ooh, get the magnetic ones and then i forget I'm currently 30 filming this, um, so hopefully when I discover some of my misplaced SD cards, I can upload footage of celebrating 300,000 subscribers. Brian was here, my brothers and sisters took me out. It was like a big deal. They was like, this is a big deal, you know? And I just was like really thankful for that. I'm so contradictory. Last time I said um, I was going to be doing a lot of fresh face looks, blah, blah, blah. But we get to change our minds in life, don't we? That's the great thing about it. You can say one thing and then say no, 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 no. Never mind. It's kind of like liking a guy. I used to like him, now I don't. I got a short attention span. <laughs> I'd be like, never mind. Last week, Destiny liked you. This week, Destiny, the unexplained. <laughs> she said she liked you last week, sir. She changed her mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, update, because y'all did want an update. I had a good time at the movies. If y'all haven't seen Fast and Furious, it's really good. Uh, I don't know if that was the first movie I've seen this year. I'm giving y'all more and more detail. I think that's why y'all enjoyed that last video. And I did used to be very open on my channel. I think you have to be on this side to understand that sometimes you just need a break from being that open and from having every part of your life questioned or wanting to know more and more and more and more. But I think the most important part to take away from enjoying my channel um, if I've never made that clear because I get it in a world full of like influence I, honestly I don't even call myself an influencer I feel like that's you saying that you encourage people to do what you do I don't even try to encourage nobody to do what I do I just show you stuff that I do and if you want to try you can try it no like my channel has never been a tell-all channel I'd be confused on the obligation of she still ain't told us this or she still ain't told us that or I'd be thinking y'all get my creative side Sometimes when I answer certain questions in a creative type of way, I'd be like, okay, they get it. They got the answer. They get what that mean. But then y'all will miss it again. I'd be like, girl. <laughs> and then I was just torn between like, oh, they say don't explain too much. And then when I don't explain enough, everybody be like, wait, how she do that? How she wrap the hair around like that? And blah, blah, blah. Again, like last time, I'm talking off the top of my head. Sometimes I have a script. Sometimes I just wing it and wing it. Winging it has gotten me pretty far so far if it ain't broke don't fix it but i hope i can find that sd card so that i can share Ooh, so i can share 30 with you all and also thank you all so much for um a lot of y'all were coming to saying like yay we did it because a lot of y'all wanted me to get to or wanted us to get to i should say it's really y'all that did this <laughs> nothing on my, my behalf at all um but a lot of y'all were like please like let's get to 300k before destiny turns 30 and y'all really did that so Shout out to y'all. Y'all are the best. I just enjoy talking to y'all. If y'all ever get on Instagram Live when I'm on there, then y'all get it. The community that we've built, I very much cherish and love it and love y'all. So, thank you. Whether you've been here for a very long time or if this is the first video that you're watching, 
Um, I appreciate your love and support. It means a lot to me. And I'm slowly ad um, adjusting more to, now I won't say being myself, because I very much be myself. It's just when I edit, I choose to just delete certain things that I personally choose to delete. So I would never say that I have not been being me. Oh, this looks good. For as long as y'all enjoy these get ready with me's when I go places, I'm gonna get, you know, a little bit of footage. We'll be back. This hair looks so good. I didn't lay the edges the absolute best. I'll put that out there on the front end so that y'all don't have to. So our hair is looking good. Now it's time to go ahead and get dressed. But first, our fragrance of the night. I'm gonna wear the Chanel Chance perfume and I'm gonna pair that with my Chanel Chance body setting. I love this combo together because it really lasts all night. I like the body setting because it gives you a nice little glow to the skin, especially on the legs when they out. But it's not greasy. So this combo, perfection. And we smell it oh so luscious and oh so good, baby. Let's get into this outfit of the night. Outfits from the Beauty Supply Store. Believe it or not, I know. I know we look good. I know. You be sleeping on a beauty supply store. You go in there and you be like, girl, they sell clothes in here? <laughs> yes. Yes. Your fave could never, but I do this. So, you know. I picked up something. Actually, a couple of things. I got like, I got a good amount of outfits from the beauty supply store, actually. And then my bag is the matting. I need to put some more stuff in it because I feel like it's empty. I think when I put my phone and my keys in here, it'll fill in the space a little bit. I have the matching shoes to this, but I either feel like they're too small or I haven't broke them in yet. And then I'm wearing my um, these are my Alexander McQueen shoes. If you all saw my Shein uh, outfits video, then that's where I featured like the unboxing of these. I actually wore this outfit before if y'all keep up with my vlogs, but I didn't get a picture in it. And that's what the washing machine is for. So I'm wearing it again because I can do that. <laughs> and then obviously the hair is from Wild African, so that's what we got, that's what we given. I did put on my anklets. The lighting is tripping right now. Gold necklace that I always wear, the one that my parents got me. Nails by Shauna did my nails, my birthday nails. I don't know which videos will come up before which ones. These were my birthday nails, so yes. And then you can't see my earrings, but I know that they're on, so I put on my gold hoops. Oh, my new birthday gift, my YSL bracelet. Let me make sure y'all can see it. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Yes. Yes. So we got the hair, we got the makeup, we got our fragrance, we smell it oh so luscious and oh so good baby, okay? Special thank you to Wild African for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check the links in my description box down below if you're interested in this hair and want to pick it up for yourself. I'm to give y'all a close up on this lace baby. Look at it though, do you see that? Oh wait, you don't. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you all want to see more full get ready with me's like this one with a little bit of everything in one video, okay? Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching.